Good morning and welcome back to Planet Earth History. Today we are going to discuss what if Andorra became a kingdom. First of all, let me explain what the purpose of this What If mini series is. Sometimes when I imagine like an alternate world or an alternate history scenario, I find some block roads. So for me, it's sometimes a bit difficult to somehow find a way how I can create a very interesting scenario that is not too far fetched and also not too much like ASB where suddenly things just change out of nowhere or where suddenly magic just appears. So as a result, I think it is a very interesting format for me and on my channel to put. And also I would like with this What If mini series to explore certain more obscure scenarios where you have, for instance, things that almost had happened in real life, but well, where we have no idea how even in the alternate history community the things could have happened. And uh, as a result, yes, I came up with this idea. Basically, in the What If mini series, I will expose some obscure and unfinished alternate history. So maybe if there's enough interest, I will then make a full flash scenario about it. And let's say that to get a fully flashed alternate history scenario, I will set up a like goal of 100 likes. But if you probably also know Andorra, I mean, come on. It's the world power, right? Well, no. Andorra is ruled by the Bishop of Orgel or Orey, I don't know how to pronounce that, and the French president. Both are considered as co-prince of Andorra, and this makes Andorra one of the few diocese in the world. San Marino could also technically be considered as well as a diarchy, but their system again is a bit different because their general captains, they are not considered monarchs. They are more something like a president or prime minister, something in between that. But Andorra almost became a kingdom. And this is not a fan fiction, it's a fact. Because actually a Russian guy called Boris Mikhailovich Skosirev managed to become king for a few hours, I think, or days. He somehow managed to get a vote of the Andorran parliament. People in Andorra didn't oppose his rule and he even wrote a very advanced constitution for Andorra. However, the Bishop of Urgel, he was not happy about it and sent some policemen, later took then Boris I out of Andorra and Andorra thus never became a kingdom and Boris the first was no more. But what if all of that changed? What if Andorra became a kingdom? First of all, the Bishop of Urgel and the President of France would not have any power in Andorra. And I believe that in 1934 France as well as Spain would have more urgent matters in that moment. It is also claimed that the Bishop of Urgel only reluctantly sent out some policemen to escort Boris the first out of Andorra. If the bishop would be more stubborn, perhaps Boris I would have never been escorted out of Andorra and thus Boris I could establish his rule. Once the constitution passes, Andorra officially becomes a kingdom with Boris I being the first king of Andorra. The first months he would try to make reforms and probably Andorra would modernize earlier on than it did in OTL. A first moment of tension could arise during the Spanish Civil War, but after thinking Boris I would try to remain neutral and not intervene in the Spanish Civil War because he would not have the resources and if he would side with the wrong side, this could backfire. Once Franco takes power, I believe that he could technically try to get Boris I out of Andorra, but would France allow it? And what would this mean for the rest of, of Europe? And that's where we leave it for now. That's it for today. I hope you enjoyed my video, be sure to like and subscribe, leave a comment, support me also on Patreon and join my forum, forum.planetalthistory.ga. Until next time on Planet Alt History.